I'm registered for the Masters World Championship, so I've signed my contract for the IFBB and signed my contract for that show. So I'm committed now. Not that I shouldn't have been committed a long time ago. Or at least that's what a lot of girlfriends and friends think. All right, this morning I wanna talk about what I call grind mentality. I'm finally getting into that grind mentality now. It takes a little while. What does that mean? Thanks for asking. You know, it's one thing to come to the gym every day and work out, or you know, four, five, six days a week, but it puts you on another level when you're in what I call the grind mentality. I've been eating the same thing over and over and over again. Only one of my meals is generally off of a plate and that's when I make my scrambled eggs in the morning. But otherwise, everything I eat is in plastic containers. There is no variety. Meal two and three are six ounces of chicken and six ounces of vegetables. That's it. My meal four is a beef meal. My meal five is a salmon meal. Same amount of vegetables. No change. Maybe the seasoning might be a little different. Sometimes instead of having green beans, and I hope you saw my green beans video, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Masters Muscle. So I might have squash and onions instead of green beans. Mm. And my chocolate pudding, protein powder pudding. And I have a video up about that. And please watch that one too, so please, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really makes a big difference to me. All right, back to the grind. So it's the same thing every day. No change. Get up early, do my cardio. If I can, get in the sauna, clients, rest, you know, stuff around the house, clients, work out, cardio, pose, eat, rinse, lather, repeat. And it is, it is mind numbing. No social life at all, pretty much. Everything I do is in this groove. I have a calendar on my fridge and I'll probably pop a picture of it up. Where I cross off each day, make sure that I put a check mark by cardio one, cardio two, all the other things I need to do. Write down my weight, did I take pictures? Day in, day out. I got over a month of that left. Most people, they couldn't take it. That's why when my nutrition clients want me to give them a meal plan, I don't do it. They get what's called a framework because it is mind numbing and it sets you up for failure to have meal plans unless you have an obsessive type of personality. And that's just the way it is. And if you don't have an obsessive personality, you won't do well with this. So this ties together with another type of mentality, which is a competitor mentality. It's one thing to be in the gym and work out and flex your muscles and think it'd be kind of cool to be in a bodybuilding competition. Then to get into that mindset that I'm not gonna miss a workout. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. I wanna walk away from every workout knowing there was nothing left to give. And I know what the hell I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then there seems to be another level, just that when you have those really elite genetics, you get this extra level of push, the championship mentality that there is nothing that's gonna get in my way. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna work so damn hard. And I have a good support team around me that keeps me on track. Without that support team, it's hard to get to that. I don't see, I don't think you can get onto that elite level competition by yourself or just with one other person. I just don't think you can do it. So that is my goal. That is my sole focus. It's 
consuming, very consuming. All I think about is food and what I have to do to get ready for that show. And I have a hard time thinking of anything else you know, except for doing my YouTube stuff, which is my only artistic outlet. So I hope you've been enjoying my little shorts and on Instagram, my cardio thoughts. That gives me some small diversion off of thinking about food and all the things that I want. I wanna see if I can kind of condense this whole mentality idea. First, there's that competitor mentality that you're willing to work hard, make the commitments. And kind of a side part of that is that you have to be somewhat OCD and you have to really be open to the grind mentality. And then there's another type of piece of that puzzle and that is the motivation piece of it. You really have to be motivated to do this, to make these sacrifices. And you know, you can have all the desires in the world to do well with this and you may have the genetics for it, but if you don't have that motivation to do it, you won't. So when you think about like the top football players, basketball players, bodybuilders, these people, A, have the genetics, B, they have that grind mentality, and they certainly have, or the best of the best, certainly have that motivation to do this, to be able to work on that type of level. So three very important parts of the, being a competitor is being able to go through the grind, at least have halfway decent genetics or better than normal genetics to do this and that motivation component. I might be talking out my ass, but these are the kind of things I think about when I'm doing my cardio. Until next time, I'll see you back in the saddle. This is Yaakov.